Hello YouTube, this is the second part of the pruning video where I show the actual pruning process done on the Latwigia Akota background in my tank. For the first few trims, the goal is to get an even dense bush. We have not begun the shaping process yet. So we do this by trimming away the taller plants and allow the shorter plants to catch up. Basically, we are trying to ensure that all plants get an even amount of light so that they can grow to the same height together. There is no replanting of tops in this entire video. So whatever new growth you see is based on the old growth that has remained. As explained in the earlier video, the tips are cut off but we keep the base to sprout side shoots. I do not adhere to a strict weekly trimming schedule. If in the middle of the week I see side shoots that have begun shading their neighbours, uh, I will pick up the scissors and do a trim. The shaping process can begin when you see a large and even number of shoot tips forming. After a couple of weeks, the bush is sufficiently dense for us to start shaping. Here you can see I already cut a valley in the middle of the bush. This is done by continually trimming off side shoots that sprout in that area and this uh, retards growth in the middle. To have a nice forward facing slope, the plants that are in the front of the bush must be trimmed lower than the ones at the back. Here I cut deeply into the front row while only trimming off the tips of the back row. You realise by now each time the bush grow beautiful new tips we cut it off. This is the nature of investment where short term sacrifice is necessary for a long term goal. By now you can see quite a bit of definition in the bushes. There is a dip in the middle and the plants at the front are shorter than the ones at the back. This gives us a nice slope at the end of the day. Now with growth getting really thick, we can clearly define the contours that we want. Instead of aggressively mowing down the entire bush, we selectively select the growth tips that are not in the position that we want them to be. Also because the tips are allowed to remain on the bush for a longer period of time, uh, finally you can see some colour on the background like we get a bush. In the previous weeks, because I was rushing uh, to shape the, booth, the bush aggressively, the tips uh, were not allowed time to grow in and the colour was very pale. One caveat in watching this video is that I do trim preemptively. Uh, when I see a new shoot sprouting in a direction that I don't favour, I'll cut it off. It may not be obvious from the trimming video itself, um, but it does appear in the results. This method brings us to the end goal fast. However, it means that in the intermediate stages, the background of Uyghur bush doesn't get enough time to colour up. For the final week, the plants are allowed to grow out without pruning and this allows their colour to be truly shown. For most people, I guess that this is an acceptable display standard. It could get denser and um, better arranged in a couple more pruning sessions. Uh, I may post a follow-up video after this. I think it's not too bad for 5 weeks worth of growth. I hope the video has been helpful and thanks for watching guys.